Hi, I'm Sarah Gundry. I'm a project manager here at Curum, the Centre for Research and Medical Devices, which is based at the National University of Ireland, Galway, but we are a national research institute. With an ageing population, in order to improve people's quality of life as they get older, the goal of our research is to create smart medical devices. My name is Andrew Fitzpatrick. I am the curator and director of the Chimera Art and Science programme. The Chimera Art and Science programme explores the meeting point of art and science, bringing artists and scientists together. Currently, we have two artists in residence, Joanna Hopkins and Siobhan McGibbon, and they are working with scientists in the lab as they have a designated lab space, but also they have a designated studio space, which is on the grounds of NUI Galway. The Chimera programme is the only one of its type in Ireland because the artists are actually in the lab, they're actually growing cells, they're carrying out experiments, they actually have access to this really very exotic place that artists love to go into. My role in the project is to select artists for the programme but also it's to try and find some common ground for the artists and scientists so that they can collaborate and that both parties find something exciting in the other person's work. How are you feeling? My name is Joanna Hopkins and I'm a visual artist and I work mainly in video and interactive works. I started the residency with a loose idea that I was going to explore the idea of empathy and how that might be diminishing in our current society because we're constantly being hooked up or connected to electronic devices and we're constantly touching and interacting electronic devices and I feel like we're losing that connection with physical people and, and reality. I applied for the Chimera Art and Science Residency here in NUIG Galway because over the last few years with artworks I've been interested in technology and science and different methods so I just thought it'd be a really interesting opportunity to work in a completely different environment and learn new things throughout the residency. My name is Catalina, I'm actually in my final year of my PhD. Uh, and I work here in Courant uh, under the supervision of Manus Bix and, and Abe Pandit. And we work with conducting polymers for electrodes uh, for Parkinson's disease. And, and actually I got involved in, in the project with Joanna basically because she was very interesting about the brain and how the electrodes that we kind of make in a way for, for deep brain simulations uh, work. She decided to to kind of have some designs around my cells. So for that, I helped her to, um, to culture uh, my neuronal cells into a specific uh, surfaces. And what she did is a video of them. We recorded the neurons connecting live. So they're, they're live connecting neurons of a rat embryo. This was the first step in the process of understanding how a brain worked or connected and to be able to see it visually. The idea of this installation is that it will, um, it's going to encourage people to touch each other to activate the video. So uh, you have to, you can't just watch the video by yourself, you have to get somebody else and you have to bring them into the installation and then you'll be able to activate the video to watch it. Right now I can say that it's, it's quite nice and that we should keep doing it uh, because it gives us another perspective of things and a more kind of holistic view of what we do. I think it's a really nice uh, result from collaborating with the scientists in there that you get, everybody gets something out of it. I'm Siobhan McGibbon, I'm a visual artist based in Galway. I'm interested in transdisciplinary practice, particularly to the intersection between art and science. 
I was really drawn to the residency in the Quorum because I really wanted to get some first-hand experience of working in the lab with the scientists. It was a great opportunity to collaborate them and make work that couldn't be made in the studio. So I'm primarily a sculptor, so I was really interested in looking at how to manipulate the materials in the lab to create form. So I was really interested in the polymers that are used to make implantable medical devices. And also, in, I was really interested in developing my practice in terms of bioart, so actually using live cells and tissues to create the work. My name is uh, Siti and uh, I've been working here on this project for the past six months. So we are uh, uh, making particles uh, to treat a condition called uh, chronic bladder syndrome. Okay, so Siobhan and I began working with these uh, mesenchymal stem cells from uh, bone marrow. So uh, she wants to make uh, millions of billions of cells and then she wants to put the cells in uh, an agarose for her exhibition. So one of the objects I'm making is a xenothorpian heart. So the xenothors are this, these fictional creatures that I've created. So I've been working with Kyriakos and Gazelle, uh, two of the scientists in the lab. Um, Kyriakos is making these polymer fibres that you can grow tendons on. The actual process of that um, is quite unique. Electrospinning is being used for the fabrication of uh, microfibers and uh, nanofibers uh, from uh, a variety of uh, materials. So the heart is made from two different types of polymers that are biocompatible with the body. I kind of like the idea that my sculpture could kind of exist within the body. I like the kind of Frankenstein aspect to the, to the process where the electricity is kind of breathing life into this body part. When artists collaborate with scientists, kind of magical things can happen because where you see a problem, they may see a solution.